Last year, my brother Hal told me a story about our late dad. I'd never heard it before, and now I can't let it go. What was his mood when he was telling you that? No regrets, no remorse for what he had done. In the 1970s, my dad was a police officer in rural Saskatchewan. One night, while out on patrol, he saw a car swerving on the road and he pulled it over. When he walked up to the window, he recognized the man behind the wheel. As being one of the priests that, and he said, one of the priests that abused him in residential school. And he ended up taking him out of the vehicle and, and beating the shit out of him. This story brought me home, home to a mystery in my own family that I need to solve. Did he tell you who the priest was or anything about him? No, he didn't, no. I've never heard him mention names, but I knew he had stories. I think I know who it is, but I, you know, I'm not gonna say it on this thing. My search for answers has led me to the St. Michael's Indian Residential School. That first day I stepped into that residential school, my childhood was gone. Gimlet, a Spotify studio, received an honorable mention for episodes three and four of Stolen, Surviving St. Michael's. This podcast investigates how abuse at a government-funded residential school in Canada, run by the Catholic Church, scarred generations of Indigenous people those affected include the family of journalist Connie Walker. Judges called the work a remarkably moving masterpiece and a testament to the power of audio. They praised Walker's wisdom and grace for letting the story tell itself and for allowing survivors the space and dignity to tell their own stories, both the horror and moments of strength and reflection. They also commended Walker for maintaining a spotlight on the effects of colonialism and trauma, and showing how its lasting effects reverberate through generations of colonized people.